Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. We are back with another video focused on air pumps. This time we've got two pepper plants. I've grown one with an air pump and one without. I'm going to take you guys through the pros and cons of using the air pump and all of the differences I've seen between these two plants. These pepper plants were started in rock wool and moved into small jars after they germinated. At four weeks old, I moved them into five gallon buckets and that is when I added the air pump. It's been four weeks since then and we're going to check in with the status of these plants. Both of these plants are very similar in height and overall number of leaves and leaf density seem very similar between both the plants. The colors are the same. For all intents and purposes, these plants appear pretty much identical and there's no clear growth advantage to either growing method. During our last attempt of this air pump race, we had an issue with algae growing inside of our buckets. I've been particularly careful to cover the holes on the lid, making sure no light can get in that way. However, when we look from inside the bucket, you can see that these white walls do leak a bit of light. I'm going to need to get these buckets painted so that that doesn't occur anymore. However, the algae grew considerably faster in the bucket which had the air pump. The oxygen being pumped into the water really helps that algae to grow quicker. And that has to be seen as a negative side effect of using the air pump. Although that issue isn't caused directly by the air pump, having an air pump in your system increases the likelihood of that issue occurring and the severity with which it does occur. One area we might expect to see the biggest impact of using the air pump is in the root structure of these plants. Now this one was grown with the air pump and this one was grown without. As I've mentioned, they're very similar in size. Basically no difference in looking at the plant from the top, but we'll open up and check the roots. And as you can see, this plant here on my right, which was grown with the air pump, this root structure is a bit bigger, maybe 15 to 20% larger. The longest roots are longer. And in general, the root structure seems to have filled out a bit more. That said, we can't see any impact to the vegetation and flowering of either plant. That slightly larger root structure doesn't seem to be having any benefit up here to the plant. And that really seems to be the only slight difference between these two plants, maybe the only pro that using an air pump is providing. On the con side, we have the noise of the air pump as it's not silent, it does use electricity. It's quickened our algae production inside of our buckets. And in general, it's added an unnecessary step that maybe isn't having any benefit. Again, not too sure that the air pump is really adding any value to this hydroponic system. 